like you do. I'm here participating in the European Youth Media Days and I would like to say to you that we are very happy to get this interview. So today you participated in a discussion of the European Youth Event. What is your appeal to the young participants? I am very proud to be here and to be participating at the workshop uh, on human rights uh, in this uh, European Youth event. Uh, as you may well know, my husband is a prisoner of opinion uh, and the freedom of thought and of opinion uh, should always figure on top of the priorities of human rights. And therefore I am happy to be at the European Parliament seeing that there are youth who are uh, believers in human rights and who are working to defend it uh, and uphold uh, the principles of human rights. You've been in Europe again last year to receive the Zakharov Prize on behalf of your, of your husband. How did you feel when you received the prize? Uh, indeed, I was here in November 2015 here at the European Parliament uh, and uh, um, I had hoped uh, back then that Raif could have been with me uh, to receive this honour. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he was not able and um, uh, I am still so proud uh, to receive uh, that he received the Sakharov Prize and I hope that it would be a window of hope, uh, a door of freedom that is opening up uh, for Raif. I am quite proud uh, that I come uh, from and that I have become, we have become uh, part of the Sakharov family and I thank the European Parliament for this. How did Raif get the idea to start a website? Did you understand from the beginning of your relationship that he was interested in <coughs> things like uh, uh, human rights or the place of uh, religious among the societies? Raif min awwal Since the very outset, since the beginning, uh, 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 Raif uh, has always been a believer in uh, uh, women's rights and he has always believed that women should uh, are supposed to never uh, relinquish these rights. Um, uh, it is uh, rather uh, it is not just uh, his own story, it is his own belief as well, uh, uh, and his uh, belief in human rights and freedom. Uh, and this is what led him at one point in his life to uh, release, to, to set up that website. Uh, it was at a certain uh, stage, at an early stage of his life, he was quite young, in the, at the age of 22 or 23, uh, when he thought of uh, launching the website. Uh, and as you may know, know ev every human being had goes through different stages in his life and that was what he was thinking about at that time. When things became really hard for you after after the arrests and the detentions, did you ever ask him to stop writing? Raif has never written anything aggressive uh, or uh, calling for terrorism uh, or anything of the, of the sort for me to tell him stop writing. Uh, he is just a human being who wanted to express his opinion and therefore uh, on the, uh, and uh, to express it peacefully. And therefore, on the contrary, uh, rather than telling him to stop, I always encourage him to continue. And this is something uh, that we uh, encourage our children as well to always uh, call for your rights and demand your rights um, and uh, this actually makes me rather uh, proud of Raif for what he has done uh, and it is impossible for me to tell him to ever stop because he expresses his opinions uh, peacefully. Today you talked in front of a young crowd. Uh, some of these people might want in the future uh, fight for human rights or freedom of speech. What's your advice to them? I am very proud to, to speak to youth that, is, that believes in its own human rights and that also strives and uh, uh, demands uh, the rights of others who are deprived of them and therefore I am quite honored uh, to uh, send them that message. We have covered some messages from young participants, especially young journalists uh, being here in Strasbourg for European Youth Media Days with uh, a special message for you and your husband, Raif.
every person, especially every journalist, uh, should be guaranteed the opportunity to speak freely, to express his opinion. I would say don't be afraid. Just uh, if you have some opinion, just express it. Because that's the only way how, how we can tackle the non-democratic regimes. Keep strong and have faith because it's going to end well. Because your husband has fought for a really important cause and he is just right. Like no one should be punished to say his words or his, his ideas. Keep on fighting. Freedom is the most precious treasure we have. Don't give up. A thousand thanks to you. Uh, it is quite uh, heartwarming uh, to see these messages. Uh, they give us the courage to continue, me and Raif, uh, and they give us the hope uh, to see that people are supporting us like this.